In my argument, the case for God of War VR, I forgot to discuss the obvious limitations of bringing a game like God of War to virtual reality. I mentioned how amazing it was to make Kratos climb a titan using a controller. And I'm overwhelmed with excitement at the idea of doing similar feats in Kratos' shoes, not with a controller, but in VR. Unfortunately, I disregarded the fact that God of War is a fast-paced hack-and-slash game that involves frequent outbursts of rapid attacks, often against multiple enemies. In any case, if not done right with the utmost consideration for user experience, God of War VR could easily be rebranded as God of Motion Sickness VR. Just imagining climbing a titan that's in motion is dizzying enough. Doing so in PSVR 2 would probably be way worse. I could see myself stumbling to the bathroom shortly after a quick gameplay session to baby bird feed my last meal to the toilet. Anyway, now I want you to forget all about God of Motion Sickness VR so that I can sell you, drum will please, The Last of Us VR. I know you're probably tired of all The Last of Us remasters, but bear with me. The Last of Us VR would probably go toe to toe with games like Resident Evil. Last of Us would no longer be just about the intimate relationship between people during a viral outbreak, but instead will become a horror show stopping, heart pumping menace. And best of all, those latter sequences would finally be interesting. Great news for hardware store enthusiasts. This is probably as close we will ever get to seeing a hardware store simulator. Before I get into spoilers, here are a few reasons why I think The Last of Us should come to PSVR 2. Sadly, the amazing story of The Last of Us would have to take a backseat. But if anything The Last of Us HBO show proves is that the story will always be incredible regardless of which medium it's being told on. This time combat will take center stage. The Last of Us combat is a set of methodical deadly actions that rely on careful weapon and ammo management. Ammo is sparse and weapons need to be crafted. And because each type of infected requires a different approach, the player has to carefully choose which appropriate weapon to use for each desperate situation. A loud gun would be more detrimental in a den of clickers than a shiv, a knife, or bare hands. Although I don't know how I would feel about getting up close and personal to choke hold and infect it. Just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. The player's every action will not only matter as usual, but will take on a personal investment unlike any flat screen Last of Us experience. Which brings us to the next point. The urgency of the world. There are many zombie games that approach combat in various ways, from the hack and slash of the Dead Island series, to the mow them all down in Days Gone. But unlike many of those games, The Last of Us requires the player to strategize each encounter, even on easy mode. There are times when it's more advantageous to throw a bottle or brick to distract enemies than to fight. The game gives the player the wonderful options of either carefully fighting their way through hordes of infected or avoiding combat altogether by distracting and sneaking. The player can always adjust their playstyle mid-game because of the on-the-go crafting mechanism. It's a clever system that can be both a blessing or a curse depending on whether the player can leave themselves vulnerable for a brief moment. 
The simple mechanic in of itself makes The Last of Us world more thrilling and it's easy to imagine how tense the game would become in VR. Fans of horror games would rejoice at the next level combat in crafting immersion. And speaking of immersion, the world will take on a different life of its own. The Last of Us series has been lauded as one of the most visually impressive games. VR would elevate the beauty of the environment to new heights. Every amazing little detail in the environment would add another layer of immersion to the already captivating world. Crossing the detailed post-apocalyptic world would be both a visual treat and a reminder of how quickly nature reclaims and reshapes space in the absence of human intervention. It would be the closest we get to touring a deserted human habitat, like the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. Your little secret discoveries around the world would become even more special. For gamers who like to explore, the beautiful world of The Last of Us in VR could actually increase the game's time to beat from the average 15 hours to a much meatier experience. I for one would love to get my hands on a Last of Us iteration in VR. The incredible world created by the game studio Naughty Dog would shine once more. Naturally, I have some questions and I'm sure you do too. Would we be experiencing the world in the shoes of Joel and Ellie? Or would we be in control of a previously unexplored character like we did with Ryus in Horizon Call of the Mountain? Would it make more sense to have the player create their own new character to mold as we see fit? Do we want a new story or an identical remake with only the VR perspective? What would you prefer? As for me, I would welcome any type of VR experience for The Last of Us. The story tour in the way back into the virtual reality industry. Its first party studios could be the key to push VR games more into the mainstream. Come on, Naughty Dog. I've seen what you can do on a typical flash screen. Now it's time to push the envelope and challenge yourself to show the world that you are, without a doubt, one of the greatest game studios ever. Anyway, that's my thought on why I would love to see a version of The Last of Us in VR. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. As always, like and subscribe if you haven't. It's fun for you and does wonders for me. Peace.